Dear Artie, Sorry it's taken so long to send another letter, but things have been busy around here. With the witches, magicians, and shamans becoming ill, and Dr. Zonk's diagnosis that they need to go through the portal to the new world, the people have been protesting that everyone should be allowed through. Lady Commander Vix is doing her best to keep the protesters back but we might be running into a full-scale riot soon. I need your help, Artie. You're my oldest friend. What do I do? Blaze. Hello, Grumpy Owls. Welcome back to home. And, uh, yeah, you guys just got, uh, Blaze's return to the world of home. So, very, very cool. Um, pretty central character to this entire story. Actually, in the general gist of everything, like, aside from the architect, probably the main character. So, uh, just to let you guys know. So, that was pretty cool i was definitely 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 enjoyed it and thank you again to sean uh one man one man one game for uh voicing blaze one more time that was pretty awesome and i uh, plan to use you again in the future just let you know buddy okay so uh stuff's been getting done here um first of all we have the Inn of the Serpent that I have kind of detailed a little bit more. Um, so Serpent's Inn, so sorry, Serpent's Inn. And then spelled incorrectly on the other side, like on purpose. Uh, so, you know, it just looked like somebody, you know, made the actual sign and then somebody else came in and did it again. And they just didn't do it right because they were not well educated. Um, put in a couple of horses over here tied up. There is a little bit of a dock right here with another little burn barrel. And uh, p threw in some like cobweb all over the place, so that's kind of cool too. Uh, inside, a little bit going on here, not a whole lot. Um, just a little bit of detail work on the inside of this. Um, got the employees only for the secret little spot down there. Um, just a little chest area right over here, so just where they house some things. I managed to get the beginnings of a fireplace in here. I am definitely going to change this because I was just trying out like some designs and stuff, but uh, it is there and it is happy and wonderful. I think that's about all I got in there that I managed to do. Um, I did on the back side here. This is the actual fireplace for the back side. Um, so this is in design of like coming up here and then getting just kind of like a little flat overlay and then coming out and putting in some like smoky smoky glass bits um i'm doing that because i wanted to use the cobwebs to actually be cobwebs and so what i most people tend to do is use the cobwebs to make their uh their smoke but i really wanted to go with like that gray black smoke so i just use gray and black stained glass and we are actually back in complete default by the way um for our resource pack I've been having some issues with my improved default looking kind of ridiculous uh, with some weird glitches. Uh, over here with this butcher's house that we were working on last time, uh, so I did decide to put her house up in that tree. I still need to actually fill it in, like the actual like interior and designs and stuff like that, but that is where she lives, and this is her lovely little, uh, lovely little cow place down here, so this is where her cows hang out. And then her butcher's block, of course, with her little axe over there. And then I need to design inside of her building. Um, we had a cow escape, by the way. And then what else have I done? Let me see here. I just want to run you through a little bit. Mm, let's go over here. Oh, yeah. We finished up a little bit of these places. Um, there is a problem right there. Gonna, I was going to fix that, wasn't I? Yes. There we go. That'll work. Actually, no, wait. Here. 
let's do that business, that business, there we go. So uh, this place was actually built on the Sunday live stream. So if you guys didn't know, I am streaming from this world um, every Sunday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. So if you guys want to come out and hang out with me and build on camera, like all the stuff that you guys normally don't get to see, we are doing that every Sunday. Uh, I did have some like, I had a little bit of trouble last time with, uh, what is all this business? This is crazy, all these holes. Um, I did have a little trouble with the internet on that one. I think I got that all figured out and fixed, but yeah, we're going to have to wait and see. But we did put in this little like eatery right here. We finished up these two little buildings here. I have not gone in and decorated them yet, but they are going to just be like some little shops and then they've got little porches on the back and stuff I really really like that um, and I think I'm gonna do another little section under here maybe and what else are we doing hold on let's get our daytime ah yes I've been working on the witches coven over here just a little bit so I did a silent stream where I built this little thing here and uh, that's just kind of something I randomly do. Like, I may just be building and decide, hey, I'm going to be building this for a while, so I'm just going to throw it on live stream. And it's, it's not really me talking or anything. I just put on some chill music and just kind of build, and you guys can come and watch and enjoy if you want. Um, but yeah, this is something that we're doing here. This is going to be a tower. I think I'm going to have some kind of a bell inside of this, so some kind of a bell tower, but maybe something a little creepier than a bell tower like I don't know um, and then on the inside of this thing and I know it's super dark in here so bear with me I'll grab a torch and I'll try to lighten this up in the video if I can um, but inside of here we have all the stuff that needs to happen still but inside here I've gone ahead and put in a pretty large staircase and uh, this thing's really fun. I like it. I want to do some more stuff in here. Like, I really want to theme this thing. Um, because it is just kind of this really big, large, creepy looking stairwell. And I do have these little hangers right here. I, I don't like that these are here. Um, I know there was somebody that like did a video at one point where they showed you how to get these here but then gone. Um, but I think it involved... I think it was Pixel Brew and Flip that were doing it together, and he was showing him how to make a uh, bell, like a bell tower bell. Um, but with this one, I know, like in theirs, you put the this piece underneath this, so you can actually like make a little bell, and it looks like a little bell because there's a little dinger right here. But in this one, I need this nether rack here, so I don't know what else to do with that. Um, what I could do is probably put like a, actually here, let me see if this will work. This will probably actually work. Yep, that'll work. So what I can do is turn these kind of into bells, I guess. I don't know how I feel about these. Uh, that's not too bad, actually. I don't mind that. Um, I don't mind that at all, actually. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that over here. Um, sorry if you guys are hearing like a fan sounding thing in the background. Uh, my computer for some reason gets really like my fan goes crazy when I'm in my like recording space. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think it's just a lack of like uh, airflow from where I actually record. But let's go out here. So this comes up here to the big bonfire. Um, I think I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. Maybe do like a something a little bit smaller because I want to have some space up here uh, because the the like witches are actually here now like they're actually in the world um, if you guys did not follow along with the lore and the story and stuff um, they are officially in the world now and they are in sanctuary if you were at the live stream you could have seen a bunch of villagers running around um, so those are going to be the witches and the magic users that are now in the world. Um, so I'm going to remake this in a little while. There we go. Okay. But yeah, that's some of the stuff I've been doing. And then I've been attempting as I can to just kind of get in here and get some of these like small little builds done. And I've been trying to utilize a lot of different 
designs to do it. It's definitely a difficult place to build in. Um, mainly because there's so much... What was I trying to say? I think I was talking to, like, um... Oh, God, who was I even talking to? I think I was talking to Silent Scale, um, who's actually one of my, like, build concept people. And we were talking about just, like, different, like, design work and stuff. And I was trying to just say that, like, this has been so challenging with, um, with Scorn is that everything is so different to what I'm normally used to doing. And so what's happening is, like, I have to come up with these, like, really original kind of out there ideas for builds and making them seem kind of you know beat up and busted but still being kind of pretty and that's a difficult thing to do um especially when you're just trying to make things like look you know make things look good uh because even if i'm doing this world and it's kind of chaotic and whatnot and uh and especially with like places like scorn um it still needs to look decent and that's not an easy thing to do um i mean i do have confidence in myself as a builder i know i'm not a terrible builder um but it is still one of those things where you're like okay i'm going to be doing something that's not really done that much like I'm going to attempt to be making really terrible looking buildings that are themed and still slightly, you know, good looking. And that's not a, not an easy thing to do. Uh, Klatos has been doing a really good job of it in his, uh, his Fantasia series. So if you guys don't know him, uh, he is one of the build concept people in my, uh, in my group. And you guys should definitely go check him out. He's a very, very good builder. He's doing like a fantasy style thing, kind of, kind of like this. Um, his is definitely a little bit more on the fantasy side. He's got like goblins and things like that. So something I don't have, but um, it's still really, really cool. And you guys should definitely, definitely go see it. I think I'm gonna do one of those big acacia windows. I've been oh, jeez, throwing down throwing down the doors um yeah one of these big acacia windows that i've been doing uh but yeah go check him out he's been doing some really cool stuff he's got a goblin like city that he's doing and he's kind of in this same boat of like building these busted up you know things oh i was gonna put the window yeah the door here there we go oh, i didn't even do a floor in here yet i'm a terrible person but he's been doing the same style like just trying to get everything beat up looking and looking really nice and it's a hard it's a hard style like I'm not gonna lie uh, especially because you have to go through the ridicule of people thinking your build sucks <laughs> but really it's not that at all it's that you're trying to make things look you know beat up that's the point and so it does become a little bit, you know, frustrating because you're like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna build this thing and it's gonna be super awesome. And then everybody's like, ew, that looks gross. And you're like, it's supposed to look gross, you weirdos. Um, no, you guys are pretty awesome. You guys kind of understand. I think you guys get it pretty well. Um, see, like that is kind of beat up. Not really. It's not too bad of a build here. Let me see. I want to do. Oh, I didn't want to do that up there. I want to do that one down. That's right, dummy. That's just me being a dummy. And this is the build. Wow. Yeah, no, this is me coming in here and beating myself up over this. I'm um, trying to think of a way I can get that. Oh, that'll work. That'll work fine. But bring that all the way. Oh, yeah, all the way over. There we go. Now it looks partially connected. And that's one of the other big things in Scorn 2. I'm trying to make things kind of connected in a way that I normally don't. Like, this building is, like, kind of connected to this building, but it's not. And that comes from the whole thing of having to try to build, um, take these buildings and make them look like they are being built into each other and, you know, on top of other old builds and stuff, so... We're, we're, we're trying. We're trying here. Like I said, this is a little, gets a little strange in the building. Um, I was actually, when I was on, uh, when I was on the live stream, 
we were over in Sanctuary. And I just built an orphanage over in Sanctuary. And that was on the live stream. And kind of what we're doing with the live stream is we're actually building in places that I am not building in the series. So, like, you guys are seeing me build all through Scorn right now. But on the live stream, I am actually going to be building in Sanctuary. Um, because I still have things that I need to get done there. But I want to be able to come back to these places and you know design things that I want to do um, here and so it's been a it's been an interesting change because sanctuary is very very much a kind of like not standard medieval build but it is definitely one of those definitely one of those um, like symmetric fantasy builds it looks like a classic rustic build whereas this is definitely not and so jumping back and forth between them has been really difficult but either way it's still been fun um i do have uh something else special for you guys too coming up which is actually uh sunfire has actually made us another um like random random story which is super cool um it's actually going to be the first person from harvest so harvest is our farming kingdom and it's not even really on the plan for right now um i do have a basic like kind of concept idea for it but it's not even in the stages of being built yet but he is doing a great job of getting like stories for these different places so that's going to be super cool, um, which also gives me an excuse to use um, to use Tim for a voice, which I am very, very happy about. Uh, for you who do not know T4E, uh, whose name is Tim, uh, he is a really big supporter of the channel. He's one of my like build design people, and I've been wanting to use his voice in this series for... A little while now and I have not had the chance to and I am really excited to be able to do that so um, he's gonna be able to actually do something for us which is gonna be super cool I'm so excited I'm so excited Tim but yeah so anyway that's just kind of what's going on in the world of home and you know all the fun that we're having so you guys, uh, thank you guys so much for checking the video out and for all of your, like, support and whatnot on the actual series. You guys have been really, really, really great with it. Uh, there's been lots of conversation in the comments, which is, like, my favorite thing. Um, the views have been great, but, like, that you guys are in the comments, like, talking is really, really cool to me. Uh, even if it's, you know, just saying like, oh yeah, it's a good video and giving me like, you know, encouragement to keep doing these and, you know, I would, I love it when you guys give me build ideas and like story ideas and stuff. So it's been really cool. I am having a lot of fun. Um, this is probably one of my favorite series that I've done so far. So I'm really, really excited. And this place is looking so good. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I love it. Actually, there's so much freaking shape in this place. Um, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, blinding to everybody. Um, hello, wake up. But yeah, this place just has so much shape. I'm really, really, really happy with it. I love that it just looks like a jungle. Like, or like a swamp in the middle of a jungle. But it just, if you look down at it, none of these buildings look like buildings. They just look like parts of the actual swamp. Except for like, you know, the very specific things. So I'm really, really happy with it. It's super cool. So guys, thank you so, so much for checking this out. And leave a like on the video if you would. Uh, remember to check out my Twitch channel. Get yourself all prepped up for the Sunday stream. And, um, yeah, there's all the links and all that other stuff that you guys can do. So, cool. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Home. All right? Thanks. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.